Alrighty guys, welcome to your 13th Git tutorial and in this video, you guys are going to love me. This is probably going to be your favorite video yet because I'm going to give you guys a huge shortcut and that is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to commit directly from your working copy to your repository. So the first thing we need to do before we can commit any changes is actually make some freaking changes. So let's just go ahead and file open where you at dogs where you at. Uh, let's just open like a index and about. All right, so this is index and uh, it doesn't really matter what you change. Okay, so first of all, let's just say that this comment is uh, way too long. So I'm just gonna make some changes right here because we don't need all these equal signs. So save that. And in about, same thing. So these two comments right here are too long cleaning up comments. So hit equals, hit equals, and boom, look at that. We just made two changes to the website to make it a little bit better. The comments were messy, and now uh, we clean them up a little bit. To be honest, the changes don't really matter. Just make any changes uh, whatsoever. So now, of course, before, what we could do is we can go ahead and add these to the uh, staging area, then we could commit them, but if you think about it, there really isn't a need to add them to the staging area first because we know that these changes we want in our final project in our repository or on the server for everyone to pretty much have updated files. So what we could do is this. Go ahead and type git status first so we know what's going on. And it said Bucky. You have two files that are different from your working copy than the main repository. So what I'm going to do right now is hit git commit before even adding these to the staging area. And what I can do now is hit dash a m. So it's not just an ordinary message. It has that dash a. And now let's go ahead and press like um, updated or let's just say cleaned up the comments. I might as well put HTML comments. So now, whenever we hit enter, check it out. It says two files changed, three insertions, three deletions. And basically, what we did is we took a shortcut. Instead of adding it to the staging area first, whenever we type git status, we can see that our working copy is now the exact same as the repository. So pretty freaking cool. And now you guys might be like, Sweet, I never have to use the staging area again. <laughs> well, not quite. This is only useful in certain situations and I wanna to talk to you guys about those situations right now. The first thing is whenever you use this command, let me go ahead and type up the command again, the dash AM, you need to be careful because it's gonna grab everything in your working copy. So if there's only one file that you wanted to add, maybe you weren't ready to add the other file yet, do not use this command because it's gonna grab everything that was in your working copy and any changes, it's gonna go ahead and push them right to the repository. So that's the first thing you need to be aware of. Another thing is, this is only helpful whenever you're editing or modifying files. If you do something like um, delete one of these files or if you're moving them around and renaming a bunch of stuff, do not use this command either. Only when you're making very simple edits to probably a few files, that's when you want to use this command. So again, that dash A, M, which is the regular message, but that dash A, it allows you to skip the staging area and commit directly from your working copy to the repository. So uh, hopefully you guys can utilize that in the future. Thank you guys for watching. And in the next video, I'm going to be, uh, well, teaching you guys something else. Durr, obviously. Anyways, I'll see you then.